Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So I am so excited to show you guys my super cute little southern farmhouse napping porch. Um, I have had this room like 90% complete since literally I think probably back in maybe, I don't know, maybe May? Maybe? And it has literally taken me this long to finally film it, to put it all together, to show you guys. And I think um, what I am waiting on is that last 10%, but I have just decided that that last 10% may or may not get done before fall hits <laughs> and so because of that i'm like if i do not show my friends then they will never see it how i've got it in the spring so i'm sorry too if you see people walking by our dining room is what you see in the background actually i am filming this video and it is definitely evening um so i had the we do have one ceiling fan with a light in our porch area the deck actually that's part of the 10 percent that needs to be finished i have another light and another ceiling fan to go up there but we just have not installed that yet but anyway because i had that light on to try and give you guys better lighting for the quality of the video you do see some shadowing and so for that i am really sorry um however you're still going to get the idea um i hope that you are able i'm able to capture it on film as cute as it truly is in person i wish that i could have each and every one of you over for a cup of sweet tea or a cup of coffee because i would love for each and every one of you to really see how super super cute this little area is it's probably one of my favorite areas but this video is just set to music if you have any questions at all please feel free to ask them in the comment section i will do my best to answer them um, if you need me to tell you where i got something i will be honest with you almost everything on this porch is from a thrift store literally um i literally think i mean except for the live plants um but those were clearance purchases from walmart just saying um and i do have i want to tell you this too if you will notice that i have some orchids in um out here on the porch i am super super proud of the white orchid that is an orchid that i've had i had it last year um, all the flowers went away and I kept up with it and I feel like now I'm the orchid whisperer because I totally brought that thing back like it totally rebloomed for um, for me so what you see on video how I show that all those new white blooms those are all from uh, yours truly taking care of them so my thumb I think is starting to turn a little bit greener <laughs> and if you've been with me a while you've probably heard me complain about not really being able to take care of house plants or plants in general but I'm learning I am learning I'm learning so even little baby step improvements it's better than nothing so I'm really proud of that um, but literally like I said almost everything out here is either been bought secondhand or it's from a thrift store um, yeah it's seriously maybe maybe my rugs out here um they are they were new at one point in time but uh you know so this goes to show you how cute you can make an area with on a budget super budget friendly at thrift stores you just got to be patient and look so anyway without further ado let's go ahead and let's get into this tour
just wanted to show you a quick little peek of what it looks like from outside with the lights on. Isn't it so cute? Just love it. And uh, this is my flower bed that is a work in progress. Those are the poles that I'm going to be using to hang my Peter's drop cloth curtains, but I wanted to show you this. I put lights in our Bradford pear tree, which sits right outside of this little porch, and look how cute that looks. Oh, it's so cute! And this is another area that uh, is a work in progress. We got a long way to go. <laughs> Super cute. Hey, I hope you guys enjoy, enjoyed taking this tour of my super cute little southern farmhouse napping porch. Like I said, this is my favorite area right now. I just love how my vision came together out here. It's so inviting. It's just so peaceful. It's so cute. And if you can hear right now the cicadas up in the trees and stuff like that, um, it's just a really peaceful spot to go. I will tell you um, one thing, a couple of the things that I need to change. I said at the beginning of the video that I've still got about 10% left to do out here. Um, of that 10%, changing the ceiling fan. Number two, I actually bought painter's drop cloth because I am going to be hanging um, painter's drop cloth curtains out here. I want to be able to shut them when it rains. So that way because in certain areas on the porch, rain does like to get in. It's also because we are having some issues with our gutter. Um, we, we have a, you've probably heard me say this before too. If you have been a subscriber of mine, we've got to get a new roof on our house. And a part of doing that new roof is going to be fixing up the um, gutters. So because of that, we do have some rain that likes to blow in certain areas of this porch. So if I have those painter's drop cloth curtains down, then I'll be able to close them when it rains. And then if they get kind of nasty, I can always take them down and wash them or they're not that expensive to where I could replace them if I need to. Um, also, so that has been something. And I think that's why, like I said, I took so long to show you guys this porch because I was really hoping to get it 100% done. Well, me vida loca, right? Never is it always ever done. Never, it just seems like. But anyway, so um, those two things are, are my biggest things. Um, we do have to paint out here. I did paint the porch um, floor out here this spring, um, but the walls need painted. I actually was gonna paint them a really pretty yellow color, but I decided not to. Um, the ceiling needs painted and stuff like that too, but those are projects that we will probably get to next spring. Um, let's see, oh, and another thing too. Besides the cicadas that you hear right now, um, we have underneath of our house, we have a, like a huge like crawl space underneath of our house. And so we have these fans that constantly blow under there to prevent moisture um, from collecting in there. It kind of keeps it drier. And you know, this is an old house. So, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to prevent some of these crazy things. But this is something that um, right before we bought the house, they did. And I'm so unhappy with it, not because I'm not happy with the fact that it's keeping it drier under there, but it's just because there's like no, um, they, they like hardwired it. There's no way to turn those fans off. So they are constantly running, which I guess is a good thing, but at the same time, it's kind of loud. So if you hear a fan in the background and that's what that is, and there's really nothing I can do about it, I'm really hoping that my husband will eventually be able to change out and put a switch on it somehow to where maybe we just have it on a timer instead of it running all the time. Um, but it does kind of make it a little bit hard to hear my little cute little water feature sometimes um, because that fan is a little bit loud. But it's not, it's not, um, it's not a nerve wracking sound, if you will. It's a constant just hum like a fan. Um, but I know I'm probably gonna get asked too if we actually come out here and enjoy this little area. We do not as much as we should because it's summer. Um, we live in South Carolina. It is extremely hot. It is extremely humid. Um, yeah, so this is probably a porch that is, is used. We used it a lot more when I first did it in the spring before it got really hot and humid. But during the summer months, yeah, I mean, I'll sit out here sometimes. Sometimes I'll come out here in the morning, drink a cup of coffee. Every once in a while, I'll come out here to the table and eat my lunch. But this, this little cute porch is going to be used primarily in the spring and in the fall. And that's what I'm most excited about. I would love to put like a super cute little electric fireplace somehow out here. I just think that would be so cute. So uh, if you have any ideas and suggestions for something like that, please let me know in the comment section. And that's another thing. I think when it gets really, really cold, if I have those 
Pinners drop cloth curtains up that I'll be able to shut them. And if I have some type of a little heater, um, we actually have a couple of those like radiant type of heaters. I'll be able to put them in here and I think it'll be co co cozy. And so I envision me and the kids and my husband coming out here and maybe watching movies sometimes. But like I said, this will be something that we probably will be doing more in the fall, pot, hopefully in the winter and into the spring. But summer, no, I want air conditioner. Give me the central air. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Like I said, any comments, leave them in the com any questions, leave them in the comment section. Um, I also invite you if this is your first time here. I live in an old farmhouse that we are very slowly fixing up. <laughs> um, a lot of things that I do are done on a budget. I love thrift store shopping. Um, I love to share with you guys different ways that I decorate. I've done a wide variety of different types of videos on my channel and I hope to do more. Um, right now we are in crunch time, like I said, for homeschooling and it has just been a crazy summer. Um, so anyway, I would love it if you would become a part of my YouTube family by hitting that subscribe button, button and making sure that you guys hit that little bell to be notified when I place new videos out there. Um, I do not have a um, consistent routine as that goes right now however like I said if you hit that bell you'll be notified and I'm hoping to do some more live videos soon so um, I will see you guys in the next video have a wonderful weekend a wonderful night bye